RFK Jr. <laughs> on MLK Day. <laughs> and as uh, for those of you who watch me a lot, you know that some of what RFK Jr. has done, I'm very much supportive of. And I have brought you this stuff that he did that I was supportive of, such as calling out factory farming, corporate farming, uh, that is horrific and the environmental impact of it. So there's some things he's done that I support uh, him talking about. But here he is defending the illegal surveillance of Martin Luther King Jr. Many of you know that Martin Luther King Jr. was illegally surveilled by the FBI, by Hoover's FBI, uh, when he was alive. They then tried to get MLK Jr. to kill himself before this is well be several years before he was ultimately murdered, uh, or at least a year before. Uh, they sent a package that at the time he didn't know was from the FBI, but we later found out was from the FBI. They sent a package to him with a tape of him having an affair. And the letter in it said, you know, you disgust me, you're a horrible human being, do the right thing and and take yourself out of the equation or however they phrased it. But it was basically trying to get him to kill himself. They were hoping he'd, you know, kill himself or, you know, I don't know, stop being a public figure uh, because they wanted to stop him, to stop what MLK Jr. was all about. Now, why would RFK Jr. care about this right now? Well, it's MLK Day, and one of the things that was done to MLK was this illegal surveillance by Hoover's FBI uh, and other other state entities. And now we know that the FBI was involved in his murder, uh, the murder of MLK. But RFK Jr. is defending it because it was his father who signed off on it. His father, Robert Kennedy, was attorney general at the time that they signed off on the illegal surveillance of Martin Luther King. So RFK Jr. is trying to say, no, no, no. The illegal surveillance of MLK was fine because my father was trying to protect him. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't you love when the guy that a lot of people have thought is the anti-establishment candidate, is the candidate who's going to fight against these horrible entities that have destroyed so many lives, he's running around defending them. He's running around defending Israel's genocide. He's running around defending the FBI and their illegal wiretaps on MLK Jr. before they and other entities killed, murdered, assassinated uh, uh, MLK. Um, did I say surveillance on RFK Jr.? I meant surveillance on MLK. Anyway, you knew what I meant. Here he is running around doing this horrible bidding of the FBI. Just ridiculous. Just so sad to see. <laughs> but I don't know. It goes to show, do, do not, anybody who's who's really connected to the U.S. governmental structures, just the, 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 no, no. The other thing is, uh, although I have brought to you many times his, uh, or more than once, his excellent comments on corporate farming and the horrors of it and everything, uh, RFK Jr. is now taking money from anyone and everyone that'll give it to him, meaning the vast majority of his money is coming from billionaires and corporate interests. And so what do you think he's going to stop talking about? Uh, any corporate interests that's giving him millions of dollars. That's who he'll stop talking about. That's who he'll stop being a critic of.